Hey everybody, BK Stunt back with Voltron. We're going to do the uh, Yadel 3 stage in this video. This is going to be stage number 7 of the game. Pretty short game. Me and my buddy Devin playing this in loco co-op mode. And... That right there was my buddy Devin dropping his controller and taking us back to the main menu. <laughs> oh, it happens. I'm pretty sure that uh, cost us some lives, but it does give me the chance to show you the level selector, which I tried to do in the first video, but it didn't go very far. Uh, but now, for some reason, we can see levels that we haven't even gotten to yet. See? The Planet Doom. You can actually see the levels on Planet Doom. It wouldn't let me do that when I first started the game, but it is now for some reason. So as you can see, there's four levels on Planet Doom. Four on Yato, four on Eris, and we're on Yato 3 right now. And there's the pink team member I was talking about. She replaced the black team member. No pink lion, of course. I have no idea who that person is. I'm sure some Voltron fans out there know who, know who that is. Uh, anyways, let's go uh, rescue some slaves. All these people lying stunned. When they come to, they'll be much better slaves. The real Voltron will be in for just as big a surprise when he arrives. <laughs> now, get them on their feet. Go on, get up. You're not hurt. You're only stunned. Forget independence. Not very good bad guys, if you ask me. So far, so good. You really want to make the people better slaves? Kill off a portion of them. It's probably what I'd do if I came from a planet called Doom. Huh. <laughs> Go check out the starting area we came from. See if that fence down there has opened. Because there was a fence down there. And no, it still has not. Yeah, it's good to check things. This is a blind playthrough, so we had no idea.
Some uh, semi-hidden civilians there on the right-hand side. Be sure to grab. I like how the rocks in this area are kind of like a natural wall. Got to watch out for them. There's going to be a lot of lightning in this level we're going to have to watch out for too. We've seen this uh, drool commander a number of times. Nothing real new here. It's kind of a mid boss in this scenario, though. Move to the next waypoint. Yes, go back the way you came. We got ourselves a uh, camera change, though. <laughs> yeah. We seem to be dying an awful lot more than we were on the Eris planet. So I guess the, uh, Enemy damage has been ratcheted up a bit. We also lost all the lives we had accumulated. Kind of a shame. Oh well, not that we necessarily need them or anything. And we're back to the area we started the level in. <laughs> of course you can't grab the ones with the yellow around them, the shield. Oh, so I don't know what we were thinking there. But that has to be the best thing about this game, is uh, grabbing planes out of the sky. Devin is just barely hanging on right now. And once you've killed everybody, be sure to check out the uh Right hand side here, plenty of civilians. Got yourself a star piece. Lots of points to be had. And this is the last area of this level. So we basically walked to an area, walked back, and then came to this area, and that's, uh, that's a level. 
There's definitely some lazy design going on. There's gonna be a lot of enemies coming out of the base there, down the runways, as you'll see. We also need to uh, destroy some generators. As you can see, the uh, well, there was three of them, but now there's uh, one on the far left. Just killed that one. Now there's one on the far right. I didn't see uh, I didn't see Devin get a survivor bonus right there. He must have. He got the uh, he got the audio clip as if he did survive. That's kind of weird. And here is the boss of the stage. The special attack really helps here. Killed that middle guy off in no time flat. Of course, there's two more of them this time. And that's it. The pilots even get out of the lions. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, we will have Yadel Stage 4 coming up. Okay, see you guys then.